everyone, I'm Ishwari. Memorizing stuff in med school can be very challenging. Anki has been extremely useful in helping me remember things. For those who haven't heard of it before, Anki is an app in which you can create flashcards. It'll help you review what you've learned at regular intervals so that you don't forget the information. In this video, I'm going to tell you all five ways to use Anki efficiently. Let's begin. Number 1. Anatomy Identifying structures forms a major part of anatomy. Every time I see a diagram, I take a screenshot of it and add it to the back side of a new card. Then, I edit the picture in such a way that all the labels are hidden. I then add this edited image to the front side of my card. So, while reviewing it, this is what it'll look like. I try to label the structures, then click enter to view the back side to check my answers. This is one of the few methods that I use to learn anatomy. Number 2. Do not club information. Each card should have only one fact. Adding too much information into one card is very inefficient. Let's assume I made a card which says causes and treatment of Clostridium difficile infection. While reviewing this, I always remembered the cause but I always forgot the treatment. So, I'll have to repeat the entire card again. And since my attention is split, it will take me more time to memorize this information. To avoid this, add the cause into a separate card and add the treatment to a separate card. Number 3. Tables When I have to differentiate two similar conditions, I always make a table. Make sure your table has a column for the criteria. You can memorize tables with Anki by blocking this portion. So, when you're reviewing a card, this is what it looks like. Make sure you don't add the entire table into one card. Make separate cards for separate criteria. Number 4. Avoid writing paragraphs. Your card should be very specific. For example, making a card which says sepsis followed by a summary of the entire condition is not a good way to memorize. It's very time consuming and you're highly likely to miss out on important facts. Your card should be objective and not subjective. Number 5. Avoid repetition. Do not create more than one card with the same information. I study from different sources and I tend to make the same card twice. This is just going to increase the number of cards and is absolutely unnecessary. To prevent this, whenever I learn something new, I click browse to see if there is a card with the same information. If it already exists, I don't waste my time making another one. I hope you guys liked this video. If you found these tips helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.